Jakob, Timothy Chariot, of course, the reigning world champion, and Jakob Ingebrigtsen, who is rather liked in these parts, had a battle royale in Monaco just uh, eight days ago. There he is, Chariot. They've met on ten occasions, and Chariot has won every time, so can Jakob Ingebrigtsen finally break his duck at the 11th attempt? And for Chariot, the challenge is maybe to try and run back-to-back, -back, sub-330, 1,500 metres. There is Philip Ingebrigtsen, the older brother, the middle brother of the Ingebrigtsen trio. And there is Jakob, still only 19 years old. Broke Mo Farah's European record in Monaco last weekend, 3.28.68. It was a real battle down the home straight between him and Chariot. What sort of race are we going to see this afternoon? Other names to look out for, Yomif Kajelcha. World Indoor 3000 metres champion. Stuart McSwain from Australia. Craig Engels is also in there. Neil Gourlay, the British champion. So plenty of quality. But we feel that it will be Timothy Cherry against Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Men's 1500 metres. Well, the pacing is fair to say, being that kind was erratic in Monaco last weekend. We've got the same pacemaker involved. There he is, Sign, just coming over. But the first lap last weekend, they went through in a ridiculous pace, 52 and a half seconds, and then slowed right up in the second lap to go through 800 in 151. They need something more evenly paced, and it depends really, to a certain extent, on uh, how interested Chariot is in going sub-330 again. The incentive, of course, for Jakob Ingebrigtsen is to try and beat Chariot for the first time. And that instinctive, distinctive, forward-leaning style of Chariot tucking in behind the pacemakers. And you have to say, on the first 300 metres, Tony, or 400 metres approaching, it's a much more sensible pace than they've gone through in 54 seconds, which is exactly what was required. Yeah, that's a pacemaker earning his, earning his money there. And people have gone with him. So often we see pacemakers go off and they set the time that they're supposed to, but the field doesn't go with them, so good to see that. So Chariot leading. At one point in Monaco, you remember last weekend, if you were watching with us, he had a 20-metre lead. Not so pronounced here this afternoon. Jakob Ingebrigtsen, as he did in Monaco, running a much more measured race and maybe... Cheria just reining in it a little bit. So Cheria just tucking in behind the, the two pacemakers, Jakob Ingebrigtsen there in second place with Philip just behind him, Gomez then behind him. Ingebrigtsen on the shoulder. 150 90 at uh, 800 metres. The pacemaking is absolutely perfect here in Stockholm. This pacemaker step out, he's looking over his shoulder. Chariot then still stalking the pacemaker. Jakob Ingebrigtsen there, perfectly placed. Ingebrigtsen senior is also in that group. Just Jakob Ingebrigtsen having a little look around. There is McSwain, who's coming up onto the shoulder of Jakob Ingebrigtsen. So Chariot one, Ingebrigtsen the younger two. McSwain there is also... And uh, Philippe and Ingebrigtsen just going back into fourth place as they hit the bell. 400 to go in the 1500 metres. Chariot leading the way as he did before. He found an extra gear. Jakob Ingebrigtsen looking very calm and content there. McSwain taking it on and slightly boxing in Ingebrigtsen on the inside, maintaining his line. Chariot then with 250 to go. Has a little look up at the screen, but Swain looking very comfortable indeed. So does Jakob Ingebrigtsen. These three moving away from Gomez. What has Chariot got left? Will it be 11th time lucky for Jakob Ingebrigtsen? As they enter the home straight, McSwain perhaps is spent. Chariot then finds another gear. He's been really putting in some terrific work 
in training. Jakob Ingebrigtsen once again trying to get back onto the coattails of Chariot, but once again it's Chariot who has the final answer. He finds another gear, he pulls away again. It isn't another 3.30 performance or just under, as in Monaco, but it's a respectable 3.30.25. It's an 11th victory over Jakob Ingebrigtsen for Timothy Chariot. Another second place for Ingebrigtsen. A much more controlled race, less erratic than in Monaco, but the result in terms of the top two is the same, and the world champion makes it two wins from two inside a week, and Jakob Ingebrigtsen has to settle once again for second place. Yeah, you just see off the bend there, Chariot moves out to the outside of the lane, there's not enough room on the inside for Ingebrigtsen to come through. So Ingebrigtsen, the only way around is to go the long way around, and that's just not happening. Very clever running there. Excellent technician.